So the Kingsbird is a challenging platformer with momentum at its core. Serenity Forge is throwing their hat into the ring for the precision platforming genre, and the result is an entertaining, albeit tough, experience. The game is light on story elements, preferring to tell the story through beautiful artwork and an excellent soundtrack. Early in the game, we witness an argument between the king and uh, his supposed daughter. Rather than convey the story with in-game speech, the characters sing to one another in a beautiful yet expressive song. There are other story clues in the game found within the murals located throughout the world. The King's Bird is a platformer that wants to capture the rush of flying through the sky. It's your job to maintain momentum forward to get over the many obstacles in the level. Levels are full of platforms, pillars and slopes to either get in your way or propel you forward. You can wall jump and glide, Otherwise, it's all about building up your forward momentum to have enough flight to get you across huge open spaces. Once you've built up enough energy to fly, a white tail billows from the main character, underlining the sense of speed and momentum. And movement in the early part of the game is a sheer joy. So our main character can dash and glide, slide down hills and bounce up walls. Building up momentum and gliding feels fantastic and is definitely one of the high points of The King's Bird. In the early stages of the King's Bird, you feel free and movement is easy. Scaling the highest heights and jumping off to soar through the levels almost makes your stomach turn. Once you've made your way through the early levels though, the game's difficulty ramps up to a point where it can become really, really challenging. The subtle moves of the main protagonist are where the challenge and ultimately a little frustration lies. Gliding through the air is one thing, but the wall jumping mechanic can be somewhat tricky to master. Jumping into a wall gives you a boost of momentum upwards and chaining these moves together offers a significant challenge. The King's Bird has four kingdoms, Forest, Lake, Sky and Fallen, with each kingdom has a hub area with access to doors that lead through to more levels. Being the levels unlocks a new door with an access to a shrine. Each level in objective is fairly straightforward. Reach the end goal and open up doors to make your way through the worlds. And the worlds vary slightly and offer up different combinations of glide, dash and jump obstacles for players to overcome. In an interesting twist, there's no real enemies to speak of in the game. The main enemy is the environment, from the poison ivy, the water hazards, the thorns and the pits. As you make your way through a series of obstacles, you'll find lampposts which act as your checkpoints. There are collectibles throughout the world as well called spirit birds, and these birds follow you around when you touch them and they look very nice indeed. However, the extra trouble of getting these weighed against the benefits of having them doesn't always add up. The early levels of the game seem somewhat welcoming, however later parts of the game is where the real challenge lies. It's a super precise platforming game and the margin for error is really small. One false move and you're dead, starting back at the last checkpoint. And if you like this kind of trial and error platformer then you'll likely love this game as it's definitely made with high skilled players in mind. Speedrunners will also get a lot out of the game as the King's Bird likes to reflect your level time back at you, nudging you towards improving your times and getting better. If you're really banging your head against the wall, then there's Assist Mode, which will help you a little get through the levels. Gliding can be extended, invincibility against thorns, and skip even to the next checkpoint will be available. This offers up players light relief in a tough game that requires high skill, precision and patience. If you find yourself nearly throwing your switch down, or your controller, then give assist mode a go. So in summary, the King's Bird is a challenge. The game looks and sounds great. And the minimalist graphics combined with the soaring audio is a joy, and the early stages of jumping, flying and gliding through the sky feels great. The name of the game here is repetition, training and learning to beat the challenge that's laid in front of you. If you're a fan of the genre, then this game is likely to whet that appetite. But if you're new to this genre, it may seem a little bit unforgiving at first, but stick with it and give Assist Mode a go if you get really stuck. So the game was developed by Serenity Forge. Uh, it's available for Nintendo Switch and PC and was originally launched on the 23rd of August 2018. And I gave the game a final score of 78 out of 100. So if you played Kingsbird, let me know what you think of it on podcast at thisweekinvideogames.com. How did you get on with the difficulty? Uh, do you like this kind of game? And uh, yeah, if, you do, if you've been speedrunning this game, send me your times, let me know how you've been getting on. I'd love to hear from you.